Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z-Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, will use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, will print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. Okay, so sa ating previous videos, natalakay na natin ang unang topic natin na trim and extend commands. So we could easily edit or change our existing drawing to create more complex objects from simple ones. Kaya kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video nito. Okay. So, sa video na ito, we will discuss naman how to use the offset command to create geometry that is offset from or parallel to other geometry in the drawing. Okay, so in a typical drawing, you are likely to find several objects that are parallel to or offset from each other. You can use the offset command to create this effect on geometry in the drawing and increase efficiency by reusing existing geometry. So, the following illustration shows several parallel lines and concentric circles. So, the offset command can be used to create these types of objects. Okay. So, let's start in our second lesson in altering objects on how we can use the offset command. So, the offset command creates a new object whose shape parallels the shape of a selected object. So, for example, in the following image, the inside shape has been offset twice using the offset command with the multiple option. So, the offset command has the following options. So, from the shortcut menu, either right-click to select the option or enter the capitalized letter and press Enter. So, the first option is uh, the true. So, ibig sabihin, offsets a selected object the distance of a point picked in the drawing window. Next, erase. So, ibig sabihin, erases the source object after it has been offset. The third option is the layer. Ibig sabihin ito, offsets the object to the original source layer or the current layer. And the last option is the multiple. This uh, means makes multiple offsets of the object in increments specified by the offset distance. Okay, so let's proceed first on how we can offsetting geometry in a specific distance. So the following steps give an overview of offsetting geometry in a specified distance. Okay, so open tayo dito sa ating AutoCAD. So first, uh, create mo tayo ng ating object. So let's say yung object natin is a polygon. Okay, so let's say get the shakalak. So, na pag-create na tayo ng ating object. 
So next, uh, on the ribbon, okay, so select natin yung ating uh, offset. So ang offset is narito. Okay, so parang itong U na naka-side. Uh, so click natin yun. So next, specify natin yung uh, offset distance. Okay, by selecting two points. So, pero, pwede naman natin uh, i-enter yung value natin instead na mag-select tayo ng 2 points. So, let's say, ang offset distance natin is uh, 1. Then, press enter. Okay? So, select natin yung object natin to offset. So, let's say, itong object. And then, select natin yung point on the side where you want to place the new object. So, pwede paloob or pwede palabas. Okay? So, same naman yung magiging distance nyan. So, kung paloob tayo, so meaning, yung original natin, which is yung naka-highlight, at itong uh, new na uh, object natin, which is itong naka-white color line. Okay? So, distance nyan is 1. Same din yan kapag uh, pinalabas natin. So, yung original natin, uh, yung naka-highlight, at yung uh, bagong object natin, which is yung pinakamalaki, so, ang distance pa rin yan is still 1. Okay? So, click natin yan. So, pwede naman natin select yung another object to offset or pwede nang mag-exit tayo. Okay? So, press enter. Okay. So, nakapag-create na tayo ng ating two objects by using offsetting geometry in a specified distance. So, next. Okay. So, next, the following steps give an overview of using the offset command with the true option to offset a line through a point on a circle. Okay. So, first is create mo tayo ng objects natin. So, clean natin to circle. Let's say, ang distance niya is, or ang radius niya is, 1. Next, pay time ng ating line. Okay. So, next, uh, dito sa ating ribbon, or pwede natin type yung word na offset. So, select natin yung offset dyan. So, press enter. And then, uh, right click tayo anywhere in this autopad. Or, pwede natin i-click tong true na option. So, pero, dito tayo. So, right click. Then, click natin tong true. Okay, so next, select natin yung object natin to offset. So, let's say ito yung object natin. And then, specify natin yung point through which to offset the object. Okay, so papansin nyo na yung highlighted, so siya yung uh, original object natin. And then yung itong line na nasa taas, so, it represent the position of the object after the offset. So, let's say, so, di tayo magbas sa point na to. So, kung papansin nyo, so, nagkikirate siya ng line. Okay? So, yung line na yan, kapag in-extend natin, okay, so, it would pass through the point here sa ating cursor. Okay? So, click natin. Then, Okay na. So, meron tayong uh, another object. Okay. So, press enter. Okay. So, next, the following steps uh, give an overview of serially offsetting geometry in a specified distance using the multiple option. So, create mo tayo ng uh, another object. 
So let's say create tayo ng rectangle. Okay, so next, type natin offset, press enter. Okay, so dito, may another option tayo. Pwede yung erase, ang, ang gamit natin. Pag sabi erase, ibig sabihin, yung original natin na object, mawala. Okay, so mapapalitan siya nung in-offset natin na object. Okay, so try natin gamitin ng erase. Then, uh, sabi dyan, erase source object after offsetting. So, ibig sabihin, itatanggalin natin yung original na object natin. So, pag nais natin, makawala itong original. Papatay siya nung new object natin. Okay, so click lang natin ang yes. Then, specify offset distance. So, let's say 1. Okay. So, next, punta tayo sa ating multiple na option. So, uh, gawin natin, uh, right click natin anywhere. Then, okay, then press enter na ulit natin para mag-exit. Okay, so from this object, so gamit tayo ng multiple option naman. So type natin ulit, offset, press enter. specify offset distance so let's say 0.5 press enter okay then select the object to offset so let's say ito yung object na yun then yan so nagkakreate na siya ng uh, next object kaya lang nagkahide yung uh, yung original na object natin okay so para mawala yun so gawin natin Exit mo tayo, o escape. Then, type natin offset. Press enter. And then, click natin ulit yung erase. Tapos, uh, sabi natin, no. Ayan. Okay. So, specify natin yung offset distance. Let's say, 0.5. Press enter. Then, select object to offset. Okay. So, next, select natin itong multiple. Okay. Then, select natin yung next object natin. So, let's say, next object natin is so, nasa point na to. And then, nasa point na to. Okay, kaya kung papasin nyo, so from the original na object natin, so nagkakreate siya ng next line, o next object na may distance na 0.5, then another line na may distance na 0.5, so therefore, yung layo na itong second object natin patungo dun sa first object natin which is yung naka-highlight is 1 unit, kasi 0.5 plus 0.5 is 1. Then sa pinaka-last object natin, So, tatlong point five So, therefore, 1.5 yung distance niyan. And then, kapag naglagay pa tayo ng pang-apat, so, pag sinag-click natin dito sa part na to, so, mag-create dyan ng pang-apat na may distance na 2 unit from the original object. Okay? And then, kapag naglagay naman tayo sa loob na to, so, nang may distance na point five so, yan. So, meron tayong point five na distance. Okay. So, ayun na paggamit ng multiple option. Okay. So, so press enter para mag-exit na tayo. Then, press enter pa ulit. So, ayun na. 
Okay, so meron tayong na-create na different objects or multiple objects using multiple option sa ating uh, offset command. So, as a summary, here are the guidelines for using the offset command. So, first, setting the offset distance is the default and most common method for using offset. Enter the distance and press enter. Next, the offset distance may also be set by picking two points in the drawing window. When using this method, it is best to use object snap and reference objects in the drawing to accurately this to accurately set a distance. When you begin the offset command, the last offset distance used is displayed in the command line. Press enter to accept this distance or enter a new offset distance then press enter. Then next, use the multiple option to create series of offsets once you have selected the original object to offset. Then simply click the site to offset as many times as needed. Next, an offset object will automatically retain the color, layer, and line type of the source object unless you change the offset layer option to current. The most common method is to keep the offset objects on the source layer. Next, when you offset a circle, arc, or polyline, at some point it may not be possible to create the offset to the inside or outside of the object because of geometry restrictions. For example, if the offset distance is greater than the radius of a circle, then it would be impossible to offset to the inside of that circle. Okay, so last, you remain in the offset command until you press enter, unless you have initiated the true option. Then only one offset is created through the object selected. Okay, so that's all. So sa ating next video, uh, we will discuss on how to use the join command to join similar objects. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, so huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So maraming salamat!